Hey friends, today welcome to my channel and today we are going to do, there are four scenes I have put, this was a big one A3 sheet, Chitrapat paper, uh, which is handmade, I got from India. I don't know if you get on Amazon, probably not. Uh, but what I did was, like this was a practice, so I put this paper uh, into four parts. And today what we are going to do is, um, this is one of my favorite artists, James Fletcher Watson. Um, so I have lots of his, I have lots of watercolor books. So anytime I go back, I always see that I'm going back to this book or uh, another uh, one of my favorite artists, Milan Malik. So what we're going to do today is this scene, okay, which I have drawn here, which is so light that you can't see probably, but this is one third and these are the vertical pieces, vertical pieces balanced by the horizontal. So he has a beautiful way of explaining compositional sketch, vertical, vertical, horizontal, just counterbalance of everything. And he's a master of sky. I've seen he does great, very little work and sky looks beautiful. So what we plan to do is red on red sky, leave a lot of white, and his colors are again very, um, very limited. We are planning to use quite a lot and let's see how it goes. All right, let's paint. So colors that I'm planning to use in this, I have cobalt blue here. I have some raw sienna. I have Indian red, which is a beautiful red, which I can't find in crimson or any other. So this is, I, I love this Indian red, um, raw sienna, cobalt blue, there's some lemon yellow I might mix with blue to make a uh, vibrant green, uh, some raw sienna, um, uh, sorry, burnt sienna, burnt umber. I think that's all. Since it's very small, I will be using small brushes. So keeping my big brushes aside. loosening some of the edges. I think that's probably it. Just give it one quick so it mixes. So sky's done. I'm not going to do anything more. I realize blue is a little light so might add a little bit of crimson to make it purplish. Oh, this is crimson is, if it sticks in your brush, it will be too reddish. And if some accident happens, I don't try to collect it. It is what it is. A 
I mean, I'm sorry, trying to still take that red blob out. I think that's it. I'm happy with the sky. You see, this whole thing is white, not doing anything. This is water, so... Trying to have some broken, if I can, somewhere where I can. So far, I'm just using this brush, which works the purpose. It's small paper. Taking some Indian red. Again, medium consistency. leave some white as well replicate this one of the principles repeat that helps uh, and then there is a nice green um, tree side of the brushes stay away from water uh, while I have color I might do a little It's starting to take shape. Now this whole tower, I think this is a brilliant yellow. And I'll try to leave some white as well. left side of this building is same yellow so he pays a lot of attention on the repeating colors so it, there is a harmony so far so good now there's some other trees change the color of otherwise it will be monotonous so add any other blue or green. In fact, I've mixed quite many. It doesn't matter. As, as, as far as it gives you new green, we're good. Not focused on too much, whether it's warm green, light green, I mean, cool. That all, once you start, painting you'll know all the basics but you don't have to really start with the foundation and think that I can't paint until I know that that a lot of people paint without having that knowledge okay so I think we are good here There are some, there's a lot of horizontal right now, so to, I hope this is wet, yeah, this is dry. So we'll give some vertical to keep the balance. Trees. And now this all is white area. We have to divide it in a way that it looks inviting that we're inviting into the picture. 
so and and there will be rough edges so some paper and this is already a rough paper so i can easily get to that this is what i was mentioning this too much rough so i will cover some of the white And now I'll bring Indian red back. And we'll connect these pieces together. All right, so, so far it's coming fine. We now need to give roofs a little bit shape and uh, I, I think that that's it. We will not probably do much more. Just wherever the depth, wherever the base is, we can go ahead and make it uh, darker. So the base, because base doesn't get the light. can add some more shrubs near the house. At this point, just listen to what, listen to your heart, basically. I have, and this is where your interpretation would be different than artists because you got an idea, you got inspired, you know the composition, now maybe you want to play with it you want to add some drop some other color and uh, so that it's totally fine maybe i want to kill some white or maybe i don't i mean that that's where i probably end let me just add some more roof i'll take more smaller brush maybe this would work Um, burnt sienna or burnt umber, either would do. And just a tip, some definition to house. Right now it's too loose. Some houses and not uniform so maybe use don't hesitate to use your finger This side looks a little odd, so I'm going to give it a, another shrub. So this is actually done. I'm bringing this closer to you and see if you like it. We did minimal. You can see the wet on wet sky. You can see the horizontal. You can see how much white is left. So that's what we plan to do for all these three in other um, uh, tutorials. So please drop a message if you like, and I have it in the description. You'll find the name of this book, um, and um, 
Melon Molex books, which I have quite many and I keep going back to these. So I uh, just want to share. Um, thank you.